Hi YouTube. Um, in this video, I want to show you how to uh, troubleshoot um, a bad or missing inverter uh, optimizer. I'm sorry, not not inverter, a missing optimizer um, in your string that is not showing up. So, in the uh, Solar Edge inverter here, uh, once you activate the status screen by just pressing OK. <coughs> Sorry, I accidentally press it again. Let's uh, keep pressing it until it rotates to the first screen again. Okay, there you go. So here it says P OK. Um, that means it's uh, how many power optimizers OK. Nine out of nine is what is showing here. And so I'm supposed to have um, 10 inverters so one of my inverters are not showing up here and um, this video will, will show you how to uh, identify which one is actually faulty so first um, you have to get a list of all the inverters that uh, comes with um, I mean, all the optimizers that that is supposed to be um, available um, and there's their serial number. The easiest way to do that is by uh, using the monitoring system. So uh, I went to solaredge.com, go to monitoring, and I to get a list of your optimizers and its serial number, uh, go to solaredge.com, go to your monitoring account, and then click on the layout. Uh, and then click on chart. Uh, once, you, once you're in the chart, if you scroll, I mean, if you look to your left, there are these uh, trees, they call it, and, and you can expand by clicking the uh, plus sign, and when you expand them, uh, you, you expand the inverter and then the string, and then here are the different modules. So each, mo each module is actually your inverter, and these are the serial numbers that's supposed to be uh, the same as the sticker at the back of the inverter. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to walk to my physical uh, solar panels, look at the back of each one of the optimizers and the one that is showing up here is working. I'm gonna check it off and I'm going to mark it with, um, I am going to carry a, uh, a green colored electrical tape and a scissor and I am going to put green tape on the good ones that I found. Okay, so we are at the um, solar panel and we are underneath the solar panel. And this is the back of the optimizer. And here you can see there's a sticker with the serial number. So I am just going to take the last uh, five digit dash the two digit. So it's 88897-07 and I'm going to try to match it with the uh, piece of paper that I have. And there you go, as you can see, that's the one that I mark as checked. That means that uh, I found the uh, optimizer and it's tested good. So I'm going to put also a green tape here just to mark that uh, I found this one is, is, is checked as good. Okay. Already marked all the um, uh, optimizers that is on that particular string and uh, as you can see um, all the ones all the nines that was uh, identified were accounted for and th those are the one that is good so I put the, the green tape on them and uh, the one that doesn't have a green tape which is the only one uh, this particular optimizer right here uh, I bought this off eBay and uh, it doesn't work um, so let this be also a warning uh, that a lot of these optimizers being sold on eBay um, I bought new ones on eBay and they work perfectly the one that is used like this I have never bought one on eBay that is used that actually work um, I think if somebody sell this at a pawn shop or at a liquidation or somewhere it's laying around they think they can get some money out of it but there's no way that they can test this. The fact that you need to have 
a, a, a solar panel system or a, a running inverter with at least eight other uh, seven other optimizers that's working because you need a minimum of eight optimizers and solar panels in order for you to uh, to create a string and confirm that it's working um, it's just hard to test it's, it's, it's almost impossible for somebody just to have one equipment like this and and test it so because of that there's all these bad uh, optimizers on eBay and um, so just buyers beware uh, if you buy on eBay um, chances are that uh, it's probably going to be broken. Another thing that you can do is call, uh, call Solar Edge uh, tech support. They're, they're very good people. Um, I probably do not recommend that. Um, I hate to bother those people because they're actually um, really nice uh, folks uh, in, in California. And uh, if you bought a part in eBay and it doesn't work, chances are just broken. Uh, don't bother calling those people um, uh, tech support even though you can uh, but leave that as your last option because um, yeah you're just wasting people's time I'm not gonna call anybody um, this is broken I know it's broken and um, I'm just gonna return them to, uh, to the seller um, anyhow so this video is not about eBay but uh, this is how you um, identify a bad optimizer within your uh, solar edge uh, string thank you for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, i make videos like this about do-it-yourself solar uh, solar panel system and um, i'll be releasing more videos in the future uh, as i go through a series of projects creating my solar panel system um, right now is still a work in development as you can see um, I have a bunch of panel on the ground I'm going to be mounting them etc and uh, it's gonna be a lot of work there's gonna be a lot of videos eventually everything will be done correctly but it's gonna take some time um, so please subscribe and uh, be more than happy to show you how I do my system until it's done um, I'm doing the, uh, the system the most economical way. These are used systems, uh, used uh, solar panels using used inverters off eBay. They do work. These are currently operational right now. And uh, I'm using Super Strut, Unistrut. It's gonna be super interesting. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.